Hello everyone. Hope you're all happy and healthy and well out there. Today we are going to find three places to have a good old traditional Scottish breakfast. How are you all? Hope you're all good. Uh, yes, today uh, it's food. It's food, food, food. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> no, uh, this is one that I was asked for. People said, where can I get a good traditional Scottish breakfast? So I'm going to show you three places. I'm going to go in and have breakfast at one of them because I'm hungry and I've not had breakfast deliberately because I wanted to have breakfast. But prior to all of that, thank you all for the lovely, lovely messages. As uh, probably a lot of you know by now, our little boy was born last week. Marty came along on the uh, 15th of uh, June 2023. Two and a half weeks early. He obviously just couldn't wait. But everyone is healthy. Marty is doing great. And his name is Marty. M-A-R-T-Y. Not Martin. Marty. Um, and uh, mum's doing well. Kirsten's doing great. Lillian seems to be accepting and, and loving of her little brother. So what else could I ask for? What else could I ask for? So it's it's a good, 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 good day. Um, the family is expanding, which is lovely. Um, but on that, let's get back to the video. But no, genuinely, thank you for all the messages. I've got hundreds, hundreds of lovely messages from you all saying congratulations. Congratulations. And it really meant the world. So, first things first, let's talk traditional Scottish breakfast. It's, it's a fry-up, essentially. It's a fry-up, but as opposed to what you would probably call a traditional English breakfast, there's a few things it probably has to have to be a pro. If you're going to really, really fill it out, obviously it's got to have beans, it's got to have fried eggs, it's got to have bacon. Well, maybe it doesn't have to have bacon, but probably has to have bacon. It has to have sausages. Now, you could get link sausages, or you could also have lawn sausages, or the famous square sausage. I think if we're talking a traditional Scottish breakfast, it needs to have square sausages. Needs to have a bit of black pudding, and needs to have a bit of haggis in there as well. Possibly some toast or some fried bread. I'd, I would be okay with either one, prefer both, but I'd be okay with either one. So that's what I would class as a nice traditional Scottish breakfast. You also need a nice big cup of tea. So what I'm going to do is show you three places of many good places. And if you enjoy this, I can definitely show you more where you could go and get a nice traditional Scottish breakfast. And the first one is just off the Royal Mount. Okay, let's show you where the first one is. So there is John Knox House. Just there on the Royal Mount. Museum of Childhood, right there. Christmas shop, because why not? And this is Blackfriars Street. There's the Troncourt and the rest of the Royal Mile up there just to help you. And it is just down here, down Blackfriars Street. Look at the High Street Hostel. How nice is that? I'm sorry, I know I'm showing you places to have a, a beautiful full Scottish breakfast, but I think we've got to appreciate this beautiful hostel here. Can you imagine coming here and staying in this? That's the entrance. That's the entrance. Is that not just amazing? Look at this. That's a hostel. You could stay there. You could stay in that. Look at that, look at that. That's just beautiful. That may be one of the most beautiful hostels in the world. Just amazing. Anyway, here is the first one. The Edinburgh Ladder. A taste of the country. This has got a beautiful, beautiful Scottish breakfast for you. You can see it's right off the Royal Mile. There's the Royal Mile, right there, literally right there. So you're feet, feet away from the Royal Mile. And then you can come right here and you have a traditional, beautiful Scottish breakfast. It looks very, very busy, which is always a good sign. And that's what you want. There's number one. I will put up some pictures of their breakfast on the website because obviously there's people eating there. I'm not going to go in, I'm not going to interrupt them or bother them or anything like that. But there's the first one. Definitely worth a visit. Plus you get to have a look at that beautiful hostel as well. So, number two is on Coburn Street, just off the Royal Mile as well. And they are a stone throw away from each other. That blue 
building right there, you see that? Ah, there it is. That's Blackfriar Street right there. So the first one's right there. The next one is just behind this bus, buses. Me and buses on this channel. Just behind the bus there on Coburn Street, just off the Royal Mile, is number two. So again, just to orientate you here. Orient, orientate? Orientate you here. Here we are on the Royal Mile. This is Coburn Street right here. This is where we're going. And there's the Tron Kirk. So just so you can get our bearing, there's the Tron Kirk right there. And then we'll go down Coburn Street. And it's this one right here. And again, you can see it's busy outside. It's busy already. A good sign for a breakfast. We are at, you know, kind of in the breakfast zone of time right now. It's just, just after 10 o'clock in the morning right now. So people are still having breakfasts. And that is it right there. The Southern Cross Cafe. Another beauty if you want to have a nice, lovely, traditional Scottish breakfast. There's actually loads of places. Coburn Street is really a place to come now just off the Royal Mile. It's always been one of these streets that's always been kind of cool and kind of hip. One of these streets that, um, what's it, what's it, um, fits in with the times. Get lots of messages of people saying they remember when there was brilliant, like, record shops and things on, he on here. Now it's all bistros and cafes and coffee shops and things. So, you know, definitely with the times. But yeah, there you go. There's one you have to try. That's it right there. That's it right there. The Southern Cross Cafe. Funnily enough, right beside another hostel. That's a hostel there as well. Loads of hostels in town. So there's number two of three places to try a traditional Scottish breakfast. Number three, however, we're going to go in and try because this one has been recommended to me a lot. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to give a shout out to my good friend, Russell, uh, one of my co-workers who really suggested this place to me, saying you've got to try the Scottish breakfast in there. It's where he suggests if friends ask or anyone asks him where to go for a Scottish breakfast. So I'm, I'm going to see if he's right. If not, don't worry, I will mock him thoroughly afterwards. But anyway, let's go see where number three is. Here we are in Princess Street Gardens and here is the National Gallery or at least underneath the National Gallery and this is where we're going. The Scottish Cafe slash restaurant which apparently has incredible Scottish breakfasts. And here we are, this is what we're getting. Full Scottish breakfast, £15. Campbell's Haggis, starting away with starting away black pudding, good, good start. Uh, bacon, uh, sausages, pan-fried mushrooms, organic poached eggs and grilled sourdough. This, this sounds lovely. And you can see they do it in a vegetarian for £14 and they do it in a vegan for £12. So hopefully there should be something for everyone there as well. Non-gluten option as well there for anyone. Um, and I might get a wee uh, orange juice as well. But yeah, this, this is what I'm talking about and this is what we're going to have right now. And look at the view. Look at this, I get to sit here and enjoy this. Beautiful. And here we have it, look at that, look at that. I'm going to say there's no beans, which I'm a little bit sad about because I love beans, but still sourdough, haggis, black pudding, bacon, poached eggs possibly, and sausages. Oh, this is it. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. And of course, a wee cup of tea, because a cup of tea. Well, I suppose there's nothing else to do apart from enjoy some breakfast. You will notice that Kirsten isn't here. I'm going to pay for this, that I'm out having breakfast while she's at home with a newborn. But in fairness, all he's doing right now is sleeping. Probably one of the important things to try as well is the haggis, because the haggis has to be good. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. That. That is some lovely haggis. Let's try the black food. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You want to know what's making this a lot more fun as well for the Scottish breakfast? Is the live bagpipes behind me somewhere. Just in the distance. Beautiful bagpipes playing away. Highland Cathedral. This, this is the Scottish breakfast. There we go. That was lovely. It was really, really nice. The haggis was beautiful. Sausages were lovely. Two things. Two things about it. No square sausage. For a Scottish breakfast, I think it does have to have a square sausage and no beans. And beans are important in a fry-up, in a Scottish breakfast, 
because haggis and uh, what do you call it and um, black pudding it can be quite dry after a little while so you need the beans for a bit of moisture in there however what was there was absolutely beautiful and the view and the bagpiper so I think I have to give it that for Scottish breakfastness it was beautiful it was beautiful I don't know if I, I personally class it as a full Scottish breakfast but what I do class it is is a beautiful tasting almost full Scottish breakfast tasted lovely I can't take that away from it it's a personal thing that I need a square sausage and beans in there as well but look at, look at what's that with the view and bagpipes in the back lovely absolutely lovely anyway there's three places you can go to if you want to try to get a Scottish breakfast um, there are many many more let me know if you want me to go try more and show more I will happily try more if you've enjoyed that as always please leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't already that would be amazing um, but Till next time, bye humans.